today we're going to be showcasing the Kitsune fruit. So I'm going to be showcasing all of these moves and the moves with the transformation. So, and by the way, just for the video, I'm going to unequip my pilot helmet because it makes me faster. So, anyways, I'm going to be showing you all the moves. So I first need to find an enemy to test it on. Um, I don't even know if I should do this island, I don't trust it. Anyways, while I'm going to the enemy, the tail system is like, so one tail, I have a tail behind me, and the meter goes up, wow, like, you, if, even if you just stand there, do nothing. Um, the meter just goes up itself, but it's very slow, I don't recommend it. So... If you want to get your tails up, so the max tails you can have is, what, three, and you get like a speed and jump boost when you have two tails or more. So I'm just going to grab a quest actually, and I'm going to test on these Dragon Crew Warriors, so these people. The first move on Kitsune is, well, it has two variations, so the first variation is that so we just circle stuff around them and then for me it does 3295 and I have max box by the way and then the next version I think is like I don't know how it works let me I think you have to like group up a few enemies and so I think you group up a ton of enemies and I'm pretty sure there's like a second variation I don't even know how it works but it just randomly comes up while doing it so, I just need to, oh my god, I, I'm going to show the second variation later because it's taking forever. Oh yeah, and as you can see, I have three tails now because when you damage enemies, um, your tails go up. So, stuff like that. And the Kitsune fruit also has an M1, so... It's really OP for grinding. I actually went from level 1608 to 1682 in like two days, which I think is pretty good. So, yeah. And this is like the max tails you can get. And once you're at this, this is the, also the speed boost. Like, you walk a bit faster, and your dashing animation is way different. And you go faster with that. And your damage is also different. Um, you also can. You also do burn damage now, so one hit does 1k, and then the burn damage makes it go to 1 point, well, 1483,000. So, the M1, like I said, is really good for grinding. And, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can. I think if it's your long range, it works for the second variation. But, yeah, so the X move on Kitsune is. You can do, so basically just makes this weird thing right here, and, um, yeah, I don't think I can even put it yet. First, I need to put this guy away, and now I think I'm decently close. So what it does is, if you put your cursor at the enemy, it puts this, like, weird windmill thingy and does 3,314 damage. It's pretty good for PvP if you think about it. Um, but yeah, um, let me do it again so you guys can see. Yeah. So yeah, that's basically it. And then oh, I thought the second variation would come. I guess I'll just kill it with the M1. And then let me just grab this guy out of the four because. This entire island is glitched, like, literally glitched. Like, oh my god. What is it? Okay, finally. Anyways, the C move is probably like one of the best moves. You can charge up a ball and it does all of that. And it does like insane burn damage. It says 5,602, but it can do way more than that, actually. I was able to do 7k with it, with just to one enemy. I'll show you guys. And has pretty decent range too. I think it goes from like max here. Yeah, but if the enemy is able to stay there, 
the burn damage makes it go up to like 6 to 7k. So, yeah. And then, actually, let me see if I can make it like that. So, I can do the C move. If I just keep it here, it's usually able to. Oh my god, I just got launched into the air, but okay. The next move, the F move, I think it's pretty bad myself. So, oh my god, bro, stop. Anyway, it's. Okay, I'm just not gonna get the, another quest. Um, the F move is 200 mastery, which I think this should be over here. I think the F should be the C move, and the C move should be the F, because the C move is overpowered when you don't have transformation. So the F move is basically, like, probably the worst move, and it goes up to an enemy, and it does, like, three M1s, and just, like, just a, a few burn damage. It only does 3,650, though, that's the problem. So if I just do it a bit more. It can barely even get an enemy to half, unlike all the other. I'm pretty sure I hope that the second variation of the first move. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. What? Anyways. I guess I'll just. Any oh yeah, and also. Um, most of these moves can hit multiple enemies. I'm pretty sure this one only hits one. And. What is happening? I am so annoyed. Anyway, the last move, the transformation. So you need to have three tails, and it has to be like a rainbow like that. So you have to hit. It. So you have to do like any move, and you. Oh yeah, that was the um, second variation. So basically, it just does like three. It does three like you know. So if I aim it to the four, yeah, it happens with that. I, I just found out actually. It just. It does lower damage in the first variation, but it's still pretty cool. Probably for PvP. And then, yeah, so your meter has to be a rainbow, so mine is a rainbow. I need to... Oh wait, now it is rainbow. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do the transformation. Right here. And it looks like this. It's a really cool Tsune, and it... And it has, it's pretty decently fast, but I recommend, it is pretty slow, but decent. if you have the pilot helmet, it goes even faster. So, and, and it can walk in water, but when you just stop, it makes you go there. I have shark race, so I don't take damage, by the way. Okay, now I have to show you guys the, um, basically like second part, I guess. So, the Z move went with the transformation. You can aim it there, and it looks really cool. Actually, it does. It looks like that. And you can aim it like this. And it basically just does the C move. And it does 5,192. So that's like a huge in increase from before. So let me do it again. Yeah, 5,192. And this is the M1 ability. It doesn't, it, it's basically the exact same, just does a bit more damage. Yeah. Let me just. So transform, transformation makes it very OP, as you can see. And then, when you go right here, the X move is like fire. It's like, I feel like it's like my favorite move. So you like, Hold X, it has like the same starting pose as the Z move, but when it goes up to an enemy, it smashes it to the ground. It makes this cool. It just doesn't burn, that's the problem. But let me do it again. I don't even I didn't remember how much damage it did, but. Oh, 4130, which is pretty good. And then now, it's a C move, which. I think it's exact same. It's just like this. And the consumes are literally eating it, okay. You can aim it for an enemy, it does way more damage. It does 6036 or something like that. 
and now the F move, which I think is just a bit better, but still trash with the transformation. It does, but you can like make it walk there, it'll do a bit more damage. And basically that's it for today's video. The Kitsune, if you're getting a perm or physical, I really recommend it. It's OP for trading, it's worth 8 million and stuff like that. But it does cost a lot of Robux, so yeah. But subscribe or else he'll eat you.